Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. Today what we're going to be doing is renewing the old concrete. You can see we've got new vinyl up here. There was some old wrought iron that had rotted out. We've got the new vinyl, but we still have the old concrete. Now here is a job we painted a year ago. We used some deck over made by Bear. The vinyl fence has been changed, so we have, there's some holes here and there that are left over from the old chain link fence. So you can see this deck over is held up really well for a year. There's no peeling, no staining. And those are a couple of the most typical things that you'll see with any kind of coating is peeling and staining and this stuff after a year is pretty much just like the day I put it down the first time we're gonna put another coating on here though and what we're gonna do to prep the surface is we're gonna give it a thorough pressure washing and then we're gonna also hit it with a um, degreaser on the whole thing with the brush You can see some of the cracks starting to pull back through the um, deck over. And the second coat will definitely cover all those for how long, I don't know. But here's the cleaner that I'm going to use. It's a cleaner and degreaser. I'm going to mix that up with some water. And then I'm going to uh, brush it over the entire painted surface. And then I'll pressure wash it all off. Here's the solution that we've mixed up. And I have a brush on a pole that fits into this bucket. Or I'll just dump it and sweep it around. And now that we started washing it and hitting it with the pressure washer, we realized there was actually a lot of dirt on here. A lot more than you could actually see. Until we started scrubbing it and then pushing all the dirt to the one end. And it really started to build up. Once we clean this with the pressure washer and degreaser, it'll look like brand new. And it washed up really easily, even there was a few uh, paint spots from other um, touch-ups around the house and other little odds and ends. There was some grease on here from the barbecue. All that stuff came off relatively easily. Here's the material that we're going to use. I happen to have five gallons left over from the first coating I did a year ago. And we still had a five gallons in this one gallon. And it's been sitting in the garage for a year. And that's pretty much the maximum shelf life you're going to get out of this stuff. Any longer than that, I think this stuff would have been gone. So what I'm doing to uh, rejuvenate this paint in the bucket, I'm going to mix it with a paddle mixer on a power drill. Once I ran that mixer in those uh, buckets of paint, it really brought it back because it was starting to separate. Now what we're going to do also, we're going to cut in around all the edges by hand and then we'll, uh, we can roll all the middle real easily. This particular product is uh, pretty thick. It's kind of like almost like an oatmeal, a wet oatmeal mix because it has texture built into it. And that's what makes it nice is it's, uh, it's a non-slip surface. Even though it's painted, you're going to get good traction even when it's wet out here. So you can see how well it cleaned up and man it was even kind of it was almost hard to see where we actually painted and didn't paint on this next coat. So we've got both rollers going. We were able to roll it out this whole area about a thousand square feet in about two hours. 
you've got to dip the roller quite often with this product because it doesn't go very far and you can't get a lot of it on your roller at once because of the consistency of it it goes down fairly thick so it definitely hides any blemishes or uh, superficial dings and stuff in the concrete because of the thickness of this product what we're going to show also at the end of the video is the uh, actual porch which, ha which um, hasn't been coated at all with paint and it's an original porch to the house so it's probably a good 60 years old and that had a lot of uh, a lot of problems with the concrete The entire surface was pretty much eroded down to the aggregate. But we're going to do the sides um, and the surface as well. This stuff's not really designed for uh, vehicle traffic. However, we do have it on the entrance to the garage. And it's held up really well. Even even there, if we've had one coat on there for a year. And there seems to be no problem for the tires going in and out of the garage. Here's what it looks like when it's finished. We're, this is the same day. And we just came back around the back side of the house. About an hour and a half, two hours later still a little bit tacky but it's not I mean you could put another coat on it at this point but uh, we've got good coverage here and this is gonna wrap it up anyway if you want new con you want old concrete to look new again uh, this stuff seems to work pretty well bare deck over uh, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to call me, contact me any way you want to. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to get the latest and greatest as they roll out, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.